Flick him around. Bam. Bam. Pull him in. Shinten. Boom. That's not broken. Oh. Man, it's not. That's not broken. Your speed. All right. What's going on, guys? Today, I'll be showing you how to dominate and rank with this Benihime Isar Keto build. Um, I'll go over how to basically create this build and use this build. However, if you don't want to hear me yap, you can literally feel free to skip to the PvP part. Uh, there should be timestamps in the description below. First, let's go over stats. You want 50 Keto and 15 Speed for the passives, mostly because they help you save on raid costs. Especially since of, since the ray nerfs, for essences you want Grand Raihuko because Tepu isn't as good at any, uh, isn't as good anymore on this build. Uh, you will see why later. For skill boxes, you can you can literally run any skill box for this build and it would work out. You don't need any specific skill box combo. It's all up to preference. For gear, I'll keep it short. Just get all the best gear you can. It shouldn't matter that much. And if you can, I mean. If you feel like you're running out of Ray, it just means you're doing something wrong. I run Kisuke's robe for the 10% Ray regen, and I almost have no issues with Ray. If you're not horrible at the game, by the time you use all your Ray, you should have Vizard, and um, you need the Ray, re re um, the Ray regen variant, or you're kind of cooked. For weapon choice, I'm using the Scythe right now to keep them inside my mirror and my high end, mainly because since I'm not Shadow, I really have no consistent way of keeping them inside my high end anymore. Especially since they added more end lag to high end. However, you c feel free to run dagger, longsword, um, even katana. I would not go katana though, but longsword and dagger certainly work. I I'm just using um, scythe because you know it looks cool, and you know it keeps them inside the high end, which I don't have a way of doing since I'm running shinten and dragons. I will now show my hotbar and. Circle all the moves you can replace for your own personal preference. The moves I didn't circle are the ones I strongly suggest using. For playstyle, I'll keep it brief. You have to play passive and more like a runner. Do not, honestly, don't let people in rank gaslight you saying all you do is run or like didn't see a single M1 or even all you do is spam. Like, what does that even mean? All you do is spam. Like, literally, don't let them gaslight you. It, um, like, why would a keto player go for the M1 against a speed or kendo player? It's just dumb. Um, that's it's literally on dumb. If they know how you play and they're not, you know, adapting, that's it's literally on dumb. This is a skill issue. And if you want to, um, and you okay, one thing you want to do is you always want to try to gain distance but not too much and zone out your opponent. Um, you're, you're not really gonna cast your long ass wind up skills in front of their face. First, I will show off what all the combos look like together in a full combo, and then I will show the small parts that you can use in your ranked games that are more consistent and explain how they work.
my new life. Okay. No! Nice crit. He uses Bala. This guy's actually losing. This guy's Bam, bam, bam. Boom. Pull him back in. Shinten. That's not Blue okay. Kid. That's Leo Bar and a half. Please your vice. Tenren does a bar and a half. Oh, wait, he's hiding the high end. Use that to void. Can't see me. Poke. More poke. He uses flash step. Boom. He can't dodge that without flash step. Oh, oh, no, no, no. Boom. Okay. 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 This guy's chipping you down. What the fuck? Bam. This guy's supposed to be Kento. Boom. Boom. Mask. Bam. Crit. Boom. Holy sh
Wait, I'm gonna let him Hakuto combo me so uh, I can um, use Grand Rai Hako. Sashi, Susan, Soft, Cream, and Cotton, Up, and Eco.